Hey guys, how's it going? Brad Riley here. Welcome to another video on the channel. And today what I'm going to be giving you is a deep dive into Facebook Business Manager, which for all of you agency owners is going to be an absolute game changer. So if you're unsure what Business Manager is, maybe have a little bit more experience with it, what I'm going to show you today either way is going to be really, really helpful in helping you systemize and organize your Facebook ads part of your business. Now, just before we jump into the rest of the video, if you are new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. And what I want you to do right now is comment below. What are the best results you have ever achieved for a Facebook ads client? Or maybe even one of your own businesses. What's the highest ROAS you've got? What was the best amount of leads for the lowest cost? I'm intrigued to know what kind of cool results you've got. So I want you to comment that down below. And of course, as well, if you do have any questions, I respond to every single comment that I get on my videos. So yeah, drop a comment down below. And if you would be so kind, a like rating would be much appreciated as well. So Facebook Business Manager. Well, let's start by giving a brief explanation as to why we will use Facebook Business Manager instead of just using the Ads Manager. Now, if you are a simple freelancer, you run ads yourself, you do all of the work yourself and you have a variety of clients, this is still going to be more helpful, it's gonna be more organized, but you could get away with getting your client to just add you as an employee across all of their different, you know, you get 10 clients and your 10 clients will all individually add you to that ad account as an employee. You could do that, it's not that efficient, you have to come, obviously go in, and you have to keep changing the ad accounts. It's not the end of the world, but it is possible. However, if you're really looking to build an agency, you really want to hire contractors and you, you just want a, a better system and a more organized approach to your business, you need to be using Business Manager. Because what Business Manager allows you to do is it allows you to get all of your clients' ad accounts, pixels, Facebook pages, catalogs, Instagram accounts, all underneath one roof. And what's even better about Business Manager is you can add employees into your business manager and assign them to different ad accounts. So let's say you hire two Facebook advertisers. One person specializes in the lead gen part of your agency, the other guy specializes in perhaps e-commerce. So you want to be able to give certain team members access to certain ad accounts, certain pixels, certain pages, and other employees access to other ad accounts, pixels, and pages. And you can do all of that within Business Manager. Because the last thing you want to happen is to run everything through Ads Manager, you hire an employee, then you have to give them your Facebook login, they log in, like it's just really, really messy. So I like having this to keep it all under one roof, it allows you to navigate properly between all the ad accounts. So let's have a look here, what are we gonna go through today? Now there's a bunch of stuff here on the left hand side inside of business settings, which really isn't that important to us. Uh, there's a lot of advanced stuff here that we really don't need to go through in this video. So what we're gonna be going through today is like the main the main key things that you're gonna use on a day-to-day -day basis, which is going to be the people section, the partner section, pages, ad accounts, Instagram accounts, and we'll touch on pixels and take a look at the business info section down here. Outside of that, for the most part, the, all the rest is a bit more of an advanced level. Uh, catalogs, that warrants a whole video in itself, and a lot of this other stuff you're probably not even gonna use, so there's no point us going through it in this video today. So we're gonna start from the top up here, we're gonna look at people, and then we'll work our way down. So we have a users section up here, which is people and partners. Now people are the people inside of your business that you want uh, in your business manager. So this could be people like yourself, the owners of the business, and also um, your team members. So in here, what you can go ahead and do, you can add people as either employees or as admins. So let's say you have a business partner, there's two owners to your company, you know, you might wanna add them as an admin to the business manager, meaning they have full control over everything. But let's say you hire a contractor that's going to run the ads on behalf of your agency, you might just wanna go ahead and add them as an employee. And from here, after you add them, you can assign them to different ad accounts, different pages. So real simple, let's say we had a guy called John Smith and his email was johnsmith at gmail.com. We would invite him, we would click employee access and go ahead and invite them to the business manager. And it is simple as that. So, you know, from a real basic standpoint, the first thing you can do on here is come on, add all of your team members or admins underneath people. The next thing we have is partners. 
Now, partners are slightly different. You know, this is how you can basically have your business manager shared with another business manager. So let's say you wanted to share, I don't know, ad accounts that you had in your business manager with somebody else's business manager, they would become a partner. So you can do that. Or, and um, this works on the other end, let's say you have a client and they have a business manager and they want to share that ad account and their pixel, their page to you, they would do that underneath partners. So they would share what they have in their business manager to your business manager as a partner. So as it says here, um, you know, a partner to request a uh, assets from, add a new partner and request assets to work on their behalf. Or we have partner to share assets with, give them permission to work on your assets so they can help you manage your pages or ads. Now what's good here is if you come down into business info, we can actually see our business manager ID. Now if we landed a client and they had a business manager and we wanted them to share ad accounts, pages and stuff with us, without you know we don't have to do anything, they can share everything that they want us to give access to uh, on their end, we would give them our business manager ID. They would come up to partners, they would click add, and they would pop the partner ID in here and share that with us. So it's important that you know this because you might get a client, they might ask you, you know, Brad, how, how do I share access to everything? I have it all on business manager, how do I share it with you? Well, that's how you do it. You come down to business info, you grab yourself your business manager ID, you share that with your client, you tell them to go into the partner section and to share that assets with you. Or it can also work on the other side of things where you can request access to uh, to their business manager. So you would get them to give you their business uh, manager ID and you would go in and request access on this side here, all right? So this is the people part, this is the users section of the business manager, how you can um, even create partners or you can add employees or admins underneath the business manager. Okay, it's gonna be really, really important for you to do. But can you see how this is helpful, right? Having all your team members, all your, your, your owners all in one place and in one business manager, really, really helpful. So next up here, we have accounts. Now this is how we can add our own accounts, we can request access to client pages, client ad accounts. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So let's say you wanted to request access to a page for a client. So let's say you landed a client and obviously you're gonna need access to their Facebook page to be able to run ads. You would go ahead and click add and you would click request access to page. Now you can do a bit of a search here. So let's just pretend we landed Adidas as a client, right? What we could go ahead and do is we click that we, we find the page, we say, you know what, we wanna request admin access and we would request access and they would accept it from their end. So you know, you can get your client to send the, across their page, you pop the URL in here, or you search for their name, and you can go ahead and request access yourself, which is, which is really, really helpful. Another thing you can do, if you want to add a page that you already own, like let's say you wanna run ads for yourself, for one of your own businesses, one of your own pages, and you wanna run it inside a business manager, and you already have the page created, you would click add page, and you'd get the option to add one that you already have linked to your personal Facebook page. And then finally here, let's say you wanna create one from scratch, you need to create a brand new page, you can also do that in Business Manager as well, which is really great. Now over here on the right hand side, or I already have a test page set up here from, from years ago. So I'm gonna show you how you can add people. So let's say you added John Smith as an employee to your Business Manager. At this point he's in there, but they, they won't have access to anything. So what you can do is you can come to pages, once you've been given access, once you've requested access, they've accepted it, you can go to add people and the employees or the people that you have uh, as either admins or employees will come up under this section. So you simply tick that person and say, I'm gonna give them admin access. Or you know what, I don't want them to be able to set up ads, I just want them to be able to look at the analytics, so I'm gonna give them analytic access. Okay, so you know, you would go ahead and click uh, admin and click assign and then they have full access to that page. Alternately, let's say you have a partner set up, it works the same way, you click partners and assign a partner that you have as well, which is, which is really, really helpful. The same thing works with ad accounts this time. So you can go ahead and click add and create a brand new ad account, or if you already have one set up on your personal page, you can add it here. But the most important one for us as agency owners is going to be to be able to request access to an ad account. So what we would do is click request access, and the easiest way to do it, honestly, is to just get them to send you across their ad account ID. Now they can find this by going to their ad account and looking in settings, just get them to send you their ID. 
you pop it in here. Uh, sorry, get them to send you the ID. Yeah, you pop it in here and then you click confirm. And the same way it would just come up, it would say, would you like to request admin access, analytical access, whatever it may be. You obviously want to request admin access. So then you go ahead and click confirm. And then from here, you do the exact same way. You come to people, you click add people, and then whoever you have under your employees, whoever's going to be working on the account, you can just assign it to them. Same with partners. Something a little bit different here. You can see this uh, this other section that isn't on pages. See, which is connected assets. Now, assets could be something like a, a catalog. It, it could be a pixel. So if you have a pixel that actually isn't connected to the page, you need to connect that. You can go ahead to here, click add assets, and then add the pixel so it is synced with the Facebook ad account. Now, a lot of the time it's already going to be synced, but if for some reason when you're trying to set up ads or whatever it may be, and it's, it's not it's not showing it could be because they're not connected so you can do that here as well as imagine instagram accounts works the exact same way you click add this time around though you do need the username and password of the account so you know you're going to need to request the, the login information for the instagram um, but yeah you want to go ahead and do that through here as well if you want to get access to instagram accounts and um, Apps, business asset groups, lines of business, none of that stuff is really important. You're probably not going to use it too often, if at all. If you have any questions about it, let me know. I don't mind making videos on these sections, but it's just really not important for, for us to go through it uh, in this initial video today. So that's the most important part about the account section is pages, ad accounts, and Instagram accounts. So by this point, we should have our team, we should have our admins in here, we should have requested access to our clients' pages, their ad accounts, to their Instagram accounts. We're in a, in a really good position now. One thing I will actually quickly say, um, this also works on the other end. So let's say you have a client and they have everything in their business manager. You've, you've connected as a partner. They can come along in here as well and then assign that to you. So, you know, let's say you're a client. You go ahead, add, add, they add their page in here. You can show them how to do it, how they can add their ad account into business manager. You assign as a partner, they come in, in here, assign it to you, and then in your business manager, it shows up as well. So it's yeah, uh, really important to know if you just want to get your onboarding completely automated, you want to get your client to do it all, you can do so that way. And all you have to do is share your business manager ID with them so they, they, so they can give you info as a partner. Okay, data sources. Let's look at pixels here. In the exact same way as you have a business manager ID and an ad account ID. Every single pixel has a pixel ID as well. Um, if it's not already synced to the ad account and it's not linked when they send it through to you, you can request access to a pixel through here as well. So if you want to add your own, you can click add and add a pixel. Or if you want to request access, you can do so through the section. It works the exact same way, but all you need is the pixel ID. And they can find that, the clients can find that by going into pixels. And at the top the section where it says the pixel, it should have the ID code right next to it. All the other stuff here in data sources doesn't really matter too much. Now, catalogs are going to be important if you close e-commerce clients. Um, it's going to be really important to run DPA ads uh, for retargeting and, and, and conversion campaigns. But we're not going to go through that in this video today because it, it's quite an in-depth section of Facebook ads. So if you would like to see a video on catalogs, what catalogs are and how you can request access to it or through through data sources in business manager drop a comment down below now outside of that there's really only a couple more important things to know and that is the business info section and then requests so if we click requests here we can see the requests that we've sent out or any request that we've, we've received. So as mentioned there, if they share access to pages with you, ad accounts with you, and you wanna go ahead and accept it, you can do so inside of here. And if you just wanna have a refresher of the invitations that you've sent out to, to get access to pages and ad accounts, that will also be inside of the sent section in here as well. So just for you to understand and know where that is, it's in the request section down below. Because the last thing you want is a client to say, oh, I've, I've sent everything across to you, I just need you to accept it, and then you're there thinking, well, how on earth do I accept it? You do so inside of here. And then finally, we have the business info section. This is pretty much what it says on the tin. It's all your business info. But the only thing that's really important for you to know, and I've kind of already showed you this, is your business manager ID. So if you ever need to access your ID and share that with a client, maybe you want to pop it on your onboarding process, whatever it may be, you can always get that inside of the business info section down here along 
the bottom. Now, that is it for this video today. If you do have any questions about Business Manager, um, maybe some of the other sections here, you want some more specifics on exactly how it works, let me know in the comments section down below. But for those of you that run agencies right now, that is pretty much everything um, that you need to know to be able to get started. Business Manager is free to set up. All you need to do is go to business.facebook.com. If you don't have one set up already, I recommend you do add your logo files, brand it towards your agency and start building it out. Now, I hope you found a ton of value in this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like rating. And uh, just on a final note here, if you are interested in having me personally help you on a much deeper level, is having me as your mentor to help you get more clients, grow your business, may it be help you with strategy for new clients you get, help analyze your copy, help you onboard clients, help keep you accountable, give you action steps, give you a plan to put in place to actually hit your goals and, and take your business to the next level. Check out the top link in the description. I have a group called the Entrepreneur Accelerator Mentorship Group that is only 30 bucks a month. And what's crazy about that is it's just a fraction of the price of any high ticket course or coaching program, but yet you get a hundred times more value. You get personal access to me. So if that's something you're interested in, you've always wanted a mentor, but perhaps you couldn't afford one. Well, that is a, a potential option for you. So check out the top link in the description. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.